Manchester United nil, West Ham won. Knocked out of the Carabao Cup on the first time of trying against West Ham's B team. They got their revenge against the Man United team that should have been good enough to get the job done. But in the end, played with a lack of intensity, urgency until the last few minutes of the game, which always seems to happen. And there was also a lack of clinicality when we did get in those positions. I thought Martial, Sancho, Greenwood and co had a few bright moments during the game, but in the end it wasn't good enough to bag the result. One thing I'll say that concerns me about some of the players tonight was the fact that we played like this competition don't matter. And fair enough, sometimes us as fans say, it's only every brand in the World Cup. <laughs> but as a team that hasn't won a trophy in a long time, every competition matters. I heard a guy on an old show called the Stay United podcast say every competition mattered last season. If you're in it, you can exactly. win it. You know what I mean? It just seemed like the energy around the stadium from the coaches and players where it is what it is. And if that's the case, then that should just increase the pressure. They need to deliver in every other competition that does matter to the fans. Fair enough, you fielded a weaker team today, but I still expect to see a level of quality and intensity from those players who don't play every week. You should be fighting to impress and put pressure on those who are on the fringes of the starting eleven. Facts. You know, nothing but facts. And from what you said, let me just say this, yeah. Okay, you fielded a weaker team, but that team was good enough to go out there and beat the West Ham team that was fielded today. I don't want to hear no excuses about the competition doesn't matter, we fielded a weaker team, oh it doesn't really matter. Like CM said, if you're in it, you must be there to win it. We're in the Carabao Cup, Ole was on the brinks of winning trophies, at least in every season he's been here at Man United and he failed to win. This season is the big season where you must win and you must stay in every competition for as long as possible to increase the chances of you winning a competition, mm -hmm. a trophy, which is all that matters to Manchester United. But back to the game, not good enough. Plain and simple. We play like crap. Twinkle Toes FC with no end product. Let's be real. Let's be real though. Most of them came in and played how United have been playing this season so far. Maybe we've got the results, but we haven't played great football. The only difference was that we didn't have our clinical players up top. Starting to see the way I Martial, see Martial, some bright spots, but that's far. He's far from being at the top of his game. Sancho is getting there, but he's not there yet. Lingard was really the only one you could say probably is in good form out of all of those guys up top. Mm. Mm. Bruno and Elanga came on and it was pretty much the same in terms of trying to break them down. But nothing was going our way. We didn't have the quality to break down West Ham's B team. I know we had a weaker team as well, but I expect those guys, like you said, to be coming out hungry. No searching for their damn dinner. <laughs> Instead, they look like they overrate. <laughs> Didn't press with the right level of intensity. Play was very flat for the most part. But that is really the way the team looks without some of our crucial players. That is the reality. We need to play better in every game. That is down to the coaching staff. Find a way to make this team play devastating football that is fun to watch. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You saw when we had counter-attacks going forward, the crowd was roaring, come on! But when you're playing that slow passing, looking all tired, droopsy, all them things there, the crowd's like, yo, red up, yo, you know. Get ready for come collect me enough you know, because this your match look like it now go nowhere. Put on my phone, boy. Seriously, seriously. Hmm? Back in the days of Sir Alex Ferguson, I'm not, I'm not comparing him to Oli, right? So calm down, mate. Calm down. <laughs> if he swapped out players, they knew their roles and how the team played. Fair enough, that may 
be the case here, but the style of football we play does not allow everyone to succeed because it relies on moments from our best players. I agree with that. We need to play as a team, break down our position as a team rather than waiting on individuals to do that. That is the real problem that Ole needs to sort out. Make sure you subscribe, like this video, everything free, no need for a criminal, mind control, all subliminal, Twitter, TikTok, Insta, digital, join this crew, follow my Twitch and I might rate you, if you pass through ends in this my gang, bust down doors or phase right through.